Hello traders, welcome back to the channel. This is Vishal and you're watching Nifty and Bank Nifty Short Term View, episode 100. On the right hand side, I have the daily time frame chart of Nifty Spot and on the left hand side, I have the hourly time frame chart of Nifty Spot. In terms of trend, uh, yes, it's pretty obvious that the prices are trading above the dual moving averages, which means the trend is up. And since in the early time frame chart, prices are trading between both of the moving averages, which means that the trend is absolutely flat. Neither it is up, neither it is down. Now, if we look at the daily time frame charts a bit more carefully, and I convert this particular price into a line chart, you will be able to see a higher high in terms of price and a slightly lower high in RSI. This is the divergence between price and RSI, which is a clear sign that prices are slightly tired to go higher. And if you recall my yesterday's video, in my yesterday's video, when I was analyzing the hourly time frame chart, I had clearly mentioned that the way the rally has, you know, got support from the from the support band and the way nifty spot has rallied this is a completely one way rally it needed some sort of consolidation sideways movement or maybe a small drop and then a rally but instead of that what we have saw today is a completely different scenario we have seen a con complete drop of the price and on the back of we can say rva policy and the weekly expiry today's trading session was extremely volatile if you check the price pattern over here, you can see the price made a higher high than yesterday and then closed almost below yesterday's open and probably close to yesterday's low as well. So this is not a very good pattern in terms of candlestick. Now, talking of supports, somewhere over here, 18,000, I can say 18,600. This is a decent support according to my analysis. If this particular support is broken, then things could be a little bit worrisome for Nifty Spot only in the short term. And as far as price is trading above 18,600, things are fine, things are okay. And uh, this particular correction which has happened today can be accepted. And if it wants to possibly start a new rally once again, then it will have to surpass this particular inverted hammer which is at 18720 and the second resistance comes up at 18740 so there is a 20 point uh you can say a resistance band over here within this zone 18720 to 18740 once this is surpassed you will be able to see a short term rally in the nifty but in case if that doesn't happen and if we close with a red candle below 18600 that will be the first warning that something is wrong in nifty spot and then if the second close comes below this support band which is somewhere around at 18540 especially this low this low over here in the daily time frame chart if this is broken then things could be really worrisome for the nifty spot let's have a look at the bank nifty Bank Nifty, according to me, has fallen with higher momentum. The way it has come down, it is really worrisome. And the way it gave a breakout over here, probably prices should have sustained. But uh, I have always seen that RBI policy days are very, very volatile. So I can give that benefit of doubt. Plus, it was a weekly expiry. I would like to give a benefit of doubt to Bank Nifty. And we can see that in terms of trend, Currently, the trend is flat in the daily time frame charts and the trend is down in the hourly time frame charts. Now, this particular level over here is a shorter term support for Bank Nifty Spot, which is at 43,880. In case if this is broken with a big red candle in intraday, then the next levels could be tested would be 43,730. Overall, if you see, the trend in the daily time frame chart is flat. The trend in the shorter term time frame chart, the hourly time frame chart is down. But I should say that we should give probably a day or two to Bank Nifty to understand what exactly it is happening. Is this the start of a new downtrend? 
or this is just a knee jerk re reaction from the index on the back of weekly expiry plus the RBI policy. So we should wait and watch and then we will be able to understand and get a clear picture. Uh, yesterday I had shared possibly a few days back positive view on Ashok Leland. That stock still continues to be in a bullish bias, in a bullish trend. Over here, it continues to stay bullish. There are no issues over here. And one more thing is the IT index. How does this index move? It will be very important. Because in case if Nifty and Bank Nifty start correcting itself, and if uh, you can say IT pack starts reviving itself and starts rallying on the upside, then it will be a little bit positivity created in the minds of traders. Because if Nifty and Bank Nifty both correct together in a very, very hasty manner, then it could bring down the markets in a very speedy way. All right. So keep your watch, uh, keep your eyes open on the IT index. Especially this particular support band is very, very important from 28,474 to 28,245. Probably time will tell us what's going to happen. As of now, it's not bullish. You can just say that the trend was up. It has corrected. It is at support. After this, what happens? Does it start moving up or not? That is what time will tell us. All right. So I hope these short videos are helping you daily to understand how markets will move on the upside. And if you find these videos helpful, kindly share, like, and subscribe. Thank you.